I think we all know by now that whenever someone on the internet says something like, my cousin works for Rockstar, or my dad is the studio manager at Rockstar New England, or my sister's best friend's niece's dog walker's cousin's ex-boyfriend's fiance's brother is Sam Hauser, they're probably not telling the truth. Even though people do love looking at this stuff anyway, because the idea of having some insider knowledge is fun, and they probably want you to believe it's real. Most of the time, you probably wouldn't even give them the time of day, but there's one that caught the eye of several people. And to tell you the truth, I think this one might actually have a shot at being legit. And of course, this can happen too, because people also love clout on social media. It came from Reddit, back around November, when we knew that GTA 6 was getting a trailer in the first week of December, and not much else. A lot of threads popped up containing tons of speculation, including people asking what everyone thinks the trailer song would be. A lot of people assumed it would be That's All by Genesis, because someone claiming to have insider information said so. Then you had a lot of random songs, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, and then one guy said Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty, the only person to accurately predict it. Now, normally I would chalk this up to just being a complete coincidence. Probably a GTA fan who just also happened to be a big fan of Tom Petty. There's gotta be some overlap. But then their username was, well, look who's back, which was said by that hammer lady in the trailer. So they not only got the song right, but their username just happened to be a line of dialogue in the game that they would feature in the first trailer. To me, that's where it becomes less of a coincidence and more of, this person knew something that the rest of us didn't. The user ended up deleting their account, but other Reddit users managed to save their comment history and the threads they were replying to. They joined Reddit on November 19th, 2023. Their first comment was November 23rd, responding to a thread where some guy asked if someone who claimed that his dad plays golf with Sam Hauser was legit. It was just a huge run-on sentence, and it had to have been posted by either a kid or someone illiterate. Mr. Look Who's Back said, What if I told you this is what I'm living? This dude's lying, though. He made other posts saying stuff like, The trailer will be incredible, and mentioned multiple times that the trailer would be out on December 6th. This is where he didn't get it entirely right, since even though the trailer leaked on the 4th, it was scheduled for a release on the 5th. It's possible that maybe he just heard it wrong, or maybe Rockstar decided to release it ahead of time before they were forced to release it even sooner than that. He also said a couple of things regarding some possible features that the game might have in it. Now before I talk about that, just keep a few things in mind. There's always a possibility that even someone with correct insider info could sprinkle in a few falsehoods just for more attention. There's also a possibility that this is all 100% legit, but that it may not even make it into the final game. And if it does, well, at least this stuff isn't anything that spoils the story. And I kind of hope for it to be legit anyway, because to me, this stuff sounds pretty cool. Going from some of the threads he responded to, it would seem that the game is going to feature dual wielding of certain weapons, a lot more gore, there's going to be a basketball minigame, and stealing cars is going to be more challenging. Let's go down that list one by one. For dual wielding, someone made a thread asking, Do y'all know if there's any evidence pointing towards the ability to dual wield weapons in the next Grand Theft Auto? He replied with, You will. Pretty cool, I guess. San Andreas and Red Dead 2 both had this. Of course, realistically, dual wielding is not ideal. But hey, it's a video game. And if it looks cool and lets you get more shots off at the target, who cares? Maybe we can dress Jason as Max Payne, even though the leather jacket is probably not going to be ideal in Florida's climate. Maybe they could bring back that nice-looking parrot shirt. With the next thread, someone hoped that GTA 6 would have the same level of gore as Red Dead 2. And the guy responded with, There will be. The violence in Red Dead 2 was pretty graphic at times. I remember sometimes if there's an explosion, there's a good chance that NPCs caught in the blast could lose their limbs. Some think that GTA shouldn't even have this type of violence, since the overall world the game is set in is less depressing and more comedic than Red Dead. But honestly, I wouldn't mind it. It's violent, sure, but it's a game made for mature audiences. You have to expect there's going to be something shocking in it. And if people worry that kids might see it, well, don't buy the game for your kids. It's rated 17 plus for a reason. On to the next thread. A guy said he hoped to see sports in the game, specifically basketball. Look Who's Back just said, you're in luck. Hey, that's cool if that comes back. San Andreas had basketball, but it felt a little half-baked. It was a neat idea, but in that game, it kind of felt like it would get boring after a while, and most people probably never bothered with it. Tennis and golf were fun in GTA Online, so bringing those back plus basketball would be pretty awesome. Also, this is the thread where people started calling this guy out. Someone actually said, quit acting like you know something. I mean, I'm not going to say he knows every intricate detail of the game, but the guy clearly knew enough. 
Now, I find the fact that stealing cars will be tougher to be kind of interesting. Going from the September of 2022 leaks, besides weapons, there's now a number of gadgets that we can carry in our inventory. One of these is an immobilizer bypass, which will probably help us steal certain parked cars. Now, I assume this means that they might have some kind of minigame when we're taking a parked car. Kind of like how Chinatown Wars had. So once you smash a window out or use a Slim Jim, you have to use one of your gadgets to get it to start. Alternatively, just take a car in traffic that's already started. Either way, if this is for real, then I think it's good that they're adding a bit of a challenge. Something just to change things up a little bit. I don't mind a slight move away from the more arcadey nature of the older games, as long as it's still fun. Aside from stuff we might see in the game, it looks like he didn't have too much else to say. Although I found it kind of funny that he didn't seem to be too enthusiastic about Dan Hauser's latest project, if the eye roll emoji is anything to go by. He's also 100% sure that the leaks were not intentional back in 2022, which I can believe. Some people were trying to say that the leaks were just part of their marketing, but really, how on earth does the source code of one of their biggest games being leaked have any benefit to them? He doesn't seem to like British food either. You know, going by their posts, I can't tell if this person is 13 or 30. But regardless of that, there's someone who I think had to have had some kind of insider knowledge of what was going to be in the trailer, or they might have even seen the trailer before everyone else. It's either their video editor, somebody connected to their video editor, or somebody related to one of the higher-ups. Hopefully not an executive who went on a bender and forgot he even posted all that stuff. Anyway, as always, I'm curious to know what you think. So feel free to leave a comment, and thank you for watching. Thank you.